Let's finish up this NBA predictions show, Max, with our rookie of the year. A little top three for you here, Max. And we might be pretty similar here. You you want to give me your rundown? Yeah, uh, I, I did a top three. Uh, I okay. I don't think it's any surprise. I, I got Victor Webinyama winning it. Okay, I you know rare talent coming out of France, seven foot three, number one overall pick. I, I'm expecting big things. Number two, I got Chet Holgram. Okay, I, I think that uh, he he was outstanding at Gonzaga. He's finally back. It's really funny. You told me that your dad that this guy is so thin that he's gonna someone's gonna bump into him, break him. Yep. And uh, sure, fair my, enough. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So my dad calls Chet Holmgren in the stick man, the stick man from Gonzaga, and he said that uh, some someone's gonna snap him in half when he some when he gets in the NBA. And damn it, during a during a pro am summer game, LeBron steps on his foot, breaks his foot. He's out for his whole rookie year. So yeah, my my dad called that one. It's like it's like walking through the woods and you 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 step on a branch. Okay, that that's Chet Holgren. Uh, and then uh, number three, number three for me is Scoot Henderson. Okay, Scoot. I I think that th- this guy with the Trailblazers, I think they're just gonna say, "Have fun, go have some fun," yeah. and I think he can have some very big games. Max, I have no argument there for the rookie of the year. I have the same top three, Wembenyama, Holmgren, Scoot. Scoot's got the keys to the car, like you were saying. It's going to be a lot of losses in Portland. Might be the most losses, yeah. but he's going to have a lot of shots in the ball in his hands a lot. Chet Holmgren coming back. It looks a little looks a little bigger. Looks like he's been lifting some weights, his upper body. There was nothing wrong with that over the summer. That's good. Um, but he, he, for, he forms a pretty good trio there in Oklahoma City. And then, yeah, Wembenyama is going to be a highlight reel, the eight-foot wingspan, already blocking blocking three-pointers. It's it's dribbling between people's legs, and it's 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 already nuts in the preseason. So Victor Wembenyama is a generational talent for sure. Can't wait to watch him. Just a couple dark horses there for Rookie of the Year. Brandon Miller, I got fourth for Charlotte, the number two pick out of Alabama. And then my guy, Jarris Walker, for the Pacers That's out of it. Houston. Okay. Got him slipping in number five. Max, give me your top three MVPs for this NBA season. All right. Top three, dude. It's really no surprise. Okay. Number one, I think Nikola Jokic does it again. I, I just, this guy is the best player in the world. And I just, he's what? He's not even 30 yet. Right. Might be 26, 28. Sorry. 28. I believe. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this guy's not slowing down. All right. He wants more championships. It, it, that's what it's all about now. He got his championship and now it's about, a legacy, right? Right now, it's about trying to try to uh, get up to Michael Jordan level. Okay, sure. even though not not same not the same position, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, number two for me, I think this is the year. Hopefully, I got Luka Doncic. Okay, <laughs> Luka Doncic. I think that he can have. A, I mean, th- this guy's a triple double machine. He honestly is. If he stays healthy, he can do it. And then, okay, you can easily flip these guys around. But Giannis is my number three. Giannis is. Dude, this guy's outstanding. I love the guy. He, it's fun to watch. Milwaukee's going to be running all over the East. Milwaukee's going to be leading or r- running all over the East, and that's why I have Giannis Antetokounmpo as my MVP this season. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Damian Lillard is taking a lot of the load off of his shoulders. He's going to be able to do things that he hasn't been able to do in the past, more energy to do things, more rebounds, maybe more blocks. I got Giannis as the MVP. I got Jason Tatum as the runner-up. He's He's a high scoring machine. I could see the Boston Celtics win, winning it all. That's a solid team right there. And then I got the Joker, Nikolai Jokic at number three. I I'm not gonna say that he's satisfied because I know he's not, but I will also say those titties were bouncing last night when he was running up and down the court. Okay. So I don't <laughs> think guy, he... <laughs> let's see. Let me hear the stats though. Let me hear what he did last triple night. Double, triple he double. Yeah, triple double. Triple double. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. Titties were bouncing Stop. a little bit. That's why I got him number three. I don't think he's in the shape that he was, okay? Celebrated as he should. Triple double. Summer. Triple double last night, okay? I got number three. <laughs> if I could give a couple dark horses for MVP, Donovan Mitchell, okay? He scores a okay. lot. Cleveland's cool. going to win a lot of games. I got him top three in the East. And then I brought him up earlier, Anthony Edwards, the lead dog did, of that yeah, USA yeah. team. I think he could be first team all NBA this year really taking over the leadership role there in Minnesota because the big cat's been licking his paws a little bit too much. 
double double tonight, nineteen and ten. So on your team, settle down on your team. On my team. Uh, okay, I'm uh, gonna be cha- I'm gonna be changing my team name soon, and it's gonna uh, include Luca, and it's gonna include the big cat. I'm figuring it out. And then in a uh, month, Luca, my big cat. Nah, we'll think it. And then Luca, in, okay, whatever. All right. In a month, when the big cat's licking his paws, you're gonna have to change your team name again. Okay, because. <laughs> The big the big cat was off my board this year. Wow. Matt, yeah. Wow. He played like 29 games last year. He, Did he? I didn't he know. Didn't he wasn't it. on my team last year, so yeah. I didn't know. Uh Max, finish up this NBA preseason prediction show with your NBA finals pick. Who do you have coming out of the East and the West? Who do you have winning this thing? I'm not gonna make a big surprise here. All right, honestly, I got the two number one seeds that I picked. Milwaukee Bucks versus Nikola Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. I think it's going to be really fun. I, I would love to see Giannis go up against Jokic in, in the NBA Finals. Come on, come on! People want to see it. I do. People are going to watch it. I do. And if I if if I had to make a pick, oh, that's so hard. That's so I I might I, I'm going to lead the Bucks. I'm actually going to lead on the Bucks because of Damian Lillard. Okay, I will lead more towards the Bucks, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> not happy about that pick, huh? I uh I was close to taking the Celtics into the finals, but I ended up taking the Bucks out of the East to take on the Nuggets. We have the same finals matchup there. And Max, the Nuggets return all five starters. Okay, everybody's back. And we talked about how Damian Lillard comes over to Milwaukee. That's that's probably the, the best pair in the league. Probably the best yeah. twosome. And it's really hard to repeat, Max. It's really it hard is. to go back yes. to back. Yeah. And that's why damn it it kills me to take the Bucks. We, oh. we, we freaking agree. <laughs> we freaking agree. Uh Brooke Lopez is slept on. Chris Middleton can get it done. Pat Connaughton off off the bench. Milwaukee was just there in, in twenty twenty one, what, three years ago. I think they can get mm-hmm. two in four years now with the upgraded yeah. game Butler. No doubt about it. And don't sleep on Bobby Portis. Don't sleep on Bobby Portis. Come on. Yeah, crazy eyes. Crazy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> good player though he's re- he is really good 